Hello and welcome to my channel Be Yourself. This is Dr. Rajin Sharma and today I will deal with polyadenylation. I already have discussed about the transcription, about the RNA processing in which I have discussed splicing and capping. Now it's the last step of the RNA processing and I, this is known as polyadenylation. In this, what happens? RNA get transcribed even beyond the site where polyadenylation has to take place. This is the site where the adenylation, polyadenylation has to take place. After that, what happened? Uh, how it is recognized that where polyadenylation has to take place is that uh, there is an upstream region of AAA, UAA and downstream region which is rich in GU sequence but the sequence is not very much clear. This sequence recognizes the site for the polyadenylation. After that, endonuclease enzymes cut out the extra part of the RNAs and then with the help of polyadenylase polymerase, it will uh, adenylate at the 3' prime end. and now it become like this. Now this uh, RNA which after which is uh, um, which we obtain after the splicing it means having only the exon parts and uh, 5 prime capping and polyadenylation are known as matured rna this was uh, this was very simple and uh, uh, and i have for more videos uh, about the molecular biology and other subjects under the biotech and biology don't forget to subscribe my channel be yourself till then goodbye and be yourself